Hey everyone, it's Gunner at 13. Hey, I want to uh, show you a quick update on a uh, knife. Give you a quick update to a knife that I uh, kind of showed you an overview, review of. This was back early uh, fall, I think, last year. Um, I did a quick review on a EDC knife. Well, what I switched to an EDC knife. Um, I was looking for a more defensive-minded um, carry knife, everyday carry knife. And um, so I did a video, one, because I noticed I had this knife for a little while and I noticed that they were selling this knife at, uh, in the stores for a good deal. So I want to do an update to this video on something, um, something... Um, it kind of bothered me about that knife, and um, well, let, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, yesterday, I found myself uh, perusing the massive halls of a Walmart super center, and um, I came upon the Gerber 06 Fast which I know they sell there, I mentioned it in my last video or my initial video on this knife now for one I noticed that uh, they're selling them, um, they're redesigning, Gerber's redesigning their logo Gerber Tactical new logo, new package, all black and tactical looking um, as opposed to what they were selling this knife prior. This is my uh, original knife right here and this is the new one that I just purchased um, yesterday and the reason why one thing that's always bothered me about this knife is let's go and try to close up on this if you look at the tip of this Tanto blade for some reason Gerber sells these knives now, first off, I like this knife a lot. This knife is an awesome knife. Um, but one thing that's bothered me is the tip of the knife. For some reason, Gerber sells them rounded off, not, not to a fine point. If you could see it maybe better on this side. And let me tell you, I've looked at a couple of these knives. I've traded in a couple of these knives already to get the best one that I can find. And this would, would be the best one that I was able to find with more of a pronounced tip to it. But that's pretty rounded off right there. And there are some that I've seen that are just terrible. Never made sense to me. Especially in a tactical knife or in a Tanto style blade knife in a defensive minded knife. You want you know, this this blade design is meant to have a fine point here for incising. Okay. You want a sharp sharp point to make good piercing motions and be able to incise correctly with this knife. Not have it rounded off right here on the tip. You have it rounded off here on the tip it takes away your piercing or your incising on this knife it leaves you with just a, a small piece of blade here small piece of blade here and then your serrations it takes away from the functionality of this knife um, as far as a defensive or as Gerber's calling it Gerber tactical knife um, so anyways found this new package they're changing their logo up, making it a little more, you know, tactical, like I said. But anyways, I noticed that the knife tip, it seemed to be corrected in this new style. Um, if you see, it's not the sharpest of a point you can get but it's a heck of a lot better 
than what they were selling. Okay? You definitely feel this this tip a lot more than this prior knife. Okay. Now, just to kind of show you a couple comparisons as far as the Tanto style knife. Now take a look at the uh, Cold Steel Recon one. Definitely, uh, sorry, it's cutting off my light here. Light here. Definitely a fine point right there. Very sharp. Okay. Gerber even gets it right with other knife designs, Tanto knife designs, like here on their Prodigy Tanto blade. Yeah, it's got definitely a nice point to it for incising uh, on that. So, what are ver various reasons they, prior to now, they used to make this rounded tip? Okay. And that's always bothered me. I stopped carrying this knife for a while, partially due to that. Not really, just because I had some other knives also, but I was always planning on reprofiling that tip. So it shouldn't have been a big deal, something that can be corrected. But since I've seen that Gerber seemed to have corrected themselves, looks like I will be holding on to this new knife and this knife will be being returned um, back to the store. They could have their rounded tip back. Um, I notice also on the packaging here, they actually give you some information on here. Unlike prior, they actually list the uh, the specs here overall. Overall length 8.6, closed length 4.8, blade length 3.8, weight 5.7 ounces, G10 scales, and also they actually mention the steel which is something I've never known was on these um, spring-assisted. I know on the automatics they use the the uh, S30B, but on the spring-assisted looks like they use a 7CR17MOB blade steel. Um, this knife is made overseas. Now I do like this knife a lot. Like I said, I really do. I'm glad that that's corrected. That, you know, t takes away from a main feature of a blade with the tip. But um, one thing I can tell you, and I am a big fan of Gerber. I like their products. I love their stuff that's made in America. Their overseas stuff is their only real problem. And you can look at a company like Cold Steel and their overseas knives. They have excellent quality control on their overseas product. So their overseas knives don't bother me that much. You know, and, and some of Gerber's, you know, it's hit or miss. As we know, um, some people really just have a despised Gerber mainly because of what they hear and not really what they've experienced. But uh, what I've experienced, I really do like Gerber's products. And I will continue to purchase them. I'll just watch out for quality control on anything that's made overseas. But their uh, stuff made in America is top, top notch, definitely. Um, look back to a review on that Prodigy or the other Prodigy or the LMF or that uh, micarta hunter knife I did a little bit ago or what is my favorite knife is that Gerber Freeman in the SV30 um, steel with the Coca-Cola wood scales that folding knife that I got from Cabela strictly through Cabela's that is my favorite knife that thing is just an awesome knife and you know it shows you what Gerber can produce but uh, anyways 
long story short, you know, just wanted to kind of give you an update on this blade. Um, I was using it for a while. I stopped using it. One thing that did bother me that I found out after a little bit is that tip. So it kind of bothered me on that. I wanted to update it, show you what I found. And uh, we'll go from there, guys. So uh, Gunner Run 13, just quick update. We'll talk to you later.